Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I'm very excited because I'm bringing you something that I've been working on over the last couple of days and it's a comparison and one that I get asked a ton since the release of the OnePlus 6 and that is of course the difference between the OnePlus 6 and the one that came before the OnePlus 5T. The OnePlus 6 was released about a week ago, the OnePlus 5T was released in November. Two fairly new products, so is it worth buying the OnePlus 5T? Now this will be a bit of a series where I'll be looking at build quality, speed tests, etc. But right Right now the one today is of course the comparison between the two cameras. I also have a giveaway chance for you guys which I will be talking about in this video so stay tuned for all of that. Let's get straight to it. Right, so welcome back to a brand new video. Like I said today we're looking at the OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 5T and the comparison between the two cameras but we're just going to put that down to one side for a second because on the table in front of me we have seven items and I'm going to add another one this bag here as well, as well as stickers inside, and I'm gonna be giving away all of what's on the table and this bag to one lucky person. So we've got the carbon fiber case, the sort of pimply, Kate, is it pimply? Is that a description for a cake? We've got the pimply case, we've got a silicon red, we've got the wood, and we've got, of course, the sort of sandstone one here. We've got a OnePlus sketchbook and a Never Set a OnePlus hat, as well as a Never Set a OnePlus bag. All of them are going to be given away to one lucky person, and all you have to do is drop a like on the video, comment as well the reason why you would like to win this giveaway, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to this YouTube channel, and jump across to my other social medias as well, Twitter and Instagram, and drop a follow on there. And that's simply because I will be making the winner announcement over on those channels and then you will be automatically entered into the giveaway and it will be selected at random for one lucky person. Right, so without further ado, let's put these two cameras to the test, the OnePlus 6 versus the OnePlus 5T. Let's get straight to it. Now one thing to note right from the start, all of these photos and videos have been taken with automatic settings on. I've not manually done anything to the actual phones and that's because I wanted to do a comparison for the everyday user, someone that's not necessarily gonna go in and change too much. They just wanna see how it performs on a day-to-day -day basis. And as you can see here, there's gonna be a theme running across this comparison and that is the fact that the HDR works better on the 6 than the 5T. As you can see, you have a lot richer, brighter green on the actual plant compared to the sort of really dull, dark green on the left-hand side of the 5T. Right, so here's the next one. And again, it looks fairly similar on first viewing, but we're gonna zoom in this time. Uh, and as you can see, the lettering on the OnePlus 6, as an example, and the edges of the sign are a lot clearer, a lot crisper on the 6 than the 5T. Now, this one's another one that looks fairly similar on first viewing, but what you need to do is check beyond the actual plant in the front focus at the sky in the background. And as you can see, the sky is a lot more blown out on the 5T, and that's again due to the quality of HDR on the OnePlus 6 compared. What it means is that the brighter areas of the picture and the darker areas of the picture are processed better on the OnePlus 6 so that the foreground is still bright enough for you to see the flowers, but the background isn't too overexposed. In order to get the same quality of picture of the foreground on the OnePlus 5T, the background, the sky, tends to be a little more overexposed, a little blown out, a little washed out, so therefore you get more detail on the sky, etc. on the OnePlus 6. Right, so now we're going to jump onto uh, another building, and this is where the 6 comes into its own in my my opinion so because we get that better HDR we get a nice coloring of the sky we do have a bright sky on both but it's not too overexposed on both but again because we've got better HDR on the 6 it means that we can get a brighter picture of the actual building whereas on the 5T it looks a lot darker it looks a much brighter and much fresher image on the 6 and again we're going to zoom in on the text behind now on this occasion the 6 looks a little bit sharper but there isn't too much difference between the two but the brick as well there's much more detail on the brick and it's, a, it, and it's a much better coloring in my opinion, a much more realistic coloring of that brick. The 5T has a harder job bringing the contrasting light and dark colors together in one image. Same story in this picture as well. The sky looks pretty much the same on both, but we get a much brighter image on the 6. Now, some may say that looks a little bit over-processed on the 6 compared to the 5T, but in my opinion, it's much more appealing on the eye. It's much more sort of Instagram friendly, you could say, than the 5T. Filters, definitely not necessary. Hashtag no filter. And again, if we zoom in on that photo, you can see much sharper, much crisper detailing on those lines on the 6 and the 5T. In the same vein, this is another building picture taken with a bright skyline because it was quite sunny that day, or hazy at least, as you can see here. And some people will say that the 5T looks more natural as a result, but again, the 6 looks better in my opinion, or certainly looks more 
catching on the eye. It looks more pleasing on the eye, the way it's able to deal with those contrasting lights and darks of the image. Next up, we have the first selfie test of the day. Apologies for the wonky glasses. They are broke. I'm going to get some new ones. But as you can see here, and this will be a running theme with a lot of the selfie shots that I took on both, is that the 5T, again, it just is a little bit washed out. It's too bright. It can't deal with the contrasting colors. And therefore, you get a cleaner, crisper, just better image, in my opinion, on the 6, as you can see here. Again, two more examples of this overexposure of the sky in order to keep the sort of foreground in check is this one here. As you can see, the detail on the six of the blue and the clouds as well, the white, whereas on the 5T, it's just pure white uh, and or gray because... Yeah, it's going to rain probably. And then on the next one, we have the 6. Again, picks up a lot more detail of the clouds, the blues, the greys, the whites, whereas the 5T just looks very washed out, very overexposed, whereas the two foregrounds look pretty much the same. Along the same lines as that overexposed middle part of the white of the last photo, again, on this picture of the, a flower, the light part of the pinks and the whites in this flower come out a lot brighter on the 5T than the 6, so therefore it does look a little bit washed out. There's a lot more clarity and crispness to the 6 photo. Some people would say the 5T looks more realistic. The 6 certainly doesn't pick up as much warmth in a photo than the 5T. Some people will say that the 5T seems more natural. If it is a sunny day, it, it is a warm picture, but the 6 certainly looks more pleasing on the eye so that would probably come down to personal opinion which one you'd like I just feel that the 5T looks a little bit dull in comparison when we do jump on to the bokeh effect the 6 works a little bit better in terms of that edge detection of that plaque with the 36 number on it it's just a little bit wishy-washy on that 5T picture whereas it looks much more natural on the 6 Right, so this one we're again going to do the zoom test. So on the 5T, it looks a little bit washed out compared to the richer, more saturated colors on the OnePlus 6. Also, when we zoom in to the image in the background, the billboard, and also the people's faces in the background as well, you can see, again, it's a lot sharper on the 6 than the 5T. Now on this little test, this was a hard one. I had the sun behind me, also the trees, and it was shooting upwards to try and test it as much as I could. It's probably the hardest photo you will ever try and make, and I wouldn't recommend it anyway, because even if it picked up, it would have looked awful. But nevertheless, it does show that both failed pretty much miserably, but the 5T, actually performed a little bit better as you can see you've got a little detail on the glasses you can just about make it out whereas on the 6 it just looks like a black blob here's another one where it looks again a little bit darker on the 5t because it's had to drop the exposure to get that sky to a reasonable level and therefore the whole of the picture then looks a bit dull and dark whereas on the 6 it's much brighter and even though it's brighter you also still get more clarity in that sky on the top left hand side you get more blues uh, the whites the clouds as you can see there's more detail there as opposed to it just looking very washed out on the 5T. And now we're going to zoom in on to the lettering behind. Now, in this occasion, the 5T seems to actually perform better than the 6. We get a more crisper picture of those letters. Now, I don't know whether that might be a focus thing. It may have been when I took the photos. Maybe that was a manual error. I don't know, but it definitely has come out better on the 5T. We're now going to jump back onto the bokeh effect, the blurring of the background, and we've got a light bulb here. Now, the photos on the 5T in as a whole tend to be slightly more zoomed in than the 6 so you get a, a slightly wider shot on the 6 than the 5T. On the whole, the 5T also tends to be a slightly warmer colouring. Now on this occasion with the bokeh effect, both cameras have had a little bit of trouble finding the edges of the rope as an example. There's a lot of lines going on in this photo, so it's a tricky photo to actually test the cameras with. Here's another selfie test here, and again, like I mentioned with the first one, we've got far too much overexposure on the 5T. It's blown out, it's washed out, whereas on the 6 we get much more detail. Now this selfie is pretty much the same, I'm not going to go into too much more detail. Then we move on to a yellow flower. They both have nice balanced colors, very true to life. Not the oversaturation that you do get with some smartphone cameras. Some people like that, some people don't. This one, we've got the bokeh effect on the flowers and it's just a little bit more natural on the OnePlus 6 than the 5T. It looks a little bit over-processed. The edge detection isn't quite as good. And again, the overexposure on the lighter areas of the flowers, the whites and the light yellows as well, are a lot brighter in the 5T than the 6. So you get a much more natural looking photo in the OnePlus 6 with a lot more detail. The clarity of the white flowers, as an example, you can see a lot more of the detail on those than you can on the blown out 5T. And then again, Again, we're going to jump onto selfie mode for the final oh no we've got one more we've got two more selfies this is the first one again we've got a slight bit of glare on the 5t on the top left hand side compared to the 6 but on the whole it's another very similar photo 
Right, so now we're on to low light, and this is a selfie one here, as you can see. And as we crop it in, you can definitely see a lot more detail on the beard on the 6 and the 5T. It's a fairly similar picture, but it's just a lot softer on the 5T than the 6, as you can see. Then we've got some more, I, I say low light situations. These are sort of around dusk. I've got some darker ones coming as well. All of the dusk shots seem to be quite similar. It's when we go into really low light situations that the 6 actually outperforms the 5T, in my opinion. Then as we start to lose a lot of light, as you can see, the 6 is a lot brighter. It picks up a lot more detail in the trees. And then we've got a studio late at night. And the evidence here is if you look at the top left hand side of the picture, there's better detail in the paneling on the top left hand side on the 6 than there is on the 5T, which is very dark. Now with the final two low light pictures, are for me where it proves it. The six on the right hand side, as you can see, does a much better job at picking up that remaining last bit of light from the hallway in my house. Whereas the 5T looks very dark, very shadowy, uh, and also quite grainy as well on the corners of the screen. And then of course, the last one out just as the moon is coming up. They both do an okay job, but if we were to crop in on the two photos, as you can see, the actual image quality, the crispness of the 6 compared to the 5T is head and shoulders above. It's very blurry, very fuzzy, very grainy on the 5T, and it does a much better job on the 6 in low light. Now we're going to jump onto video, and as you can see here, we've got the uh, 5T and the 6. Now the 5T is shooting in 4K at 60 frames a second, whereas the 5T is 4K at 30 frames a second, and you can notice a better clarity, a better crispness to the 6, but I was quite surprised at how shaky actually the camera was. Now again, I must stress, I haven't changed any settings, I haven't done anything to the two cameras, it's just default 4K recording. But yeah, certainly the image quality is better on the 6, but the default shooting mode is a lot bumpier than I would expect. Then we jump onto the famous slow-mo of the 6, which is one of their biggest selling points compared to the 5T. Now I've shot all of these at 480 frames a second at 720p, whereas on the 5T, I believe it is 120 frames a second at 720p. And straight away, it's just a much better experience. The, the slow-mo on the 6 looks absolutely incredible compared to the 5T. Now the actual autofocus tends to work, in my opinion, a little bit better on the 5T than the 6. I would recommend using tap to focus on the 6. As you can see on this one, it's slightly blurred on the 6, obviously on the moving subject. But obviously, because I had the two phones going at the same time, it was hard to manually focus. But it's certainly something that when I was testing it, when I manually focused, it did work really well. It was only the autofocus that was slightly off, in my opinion. As you can see here, it, it's just a much better setup with this slow-mo on the 6 and the 5T. You can also shoot at 240 frames a second at 1080p on the OnePlus 6 as well, so that is another option. I just wanted to go to the one that they were talking about so much in the marketing beforehand. This was one of their biggest selling points. Right, so that was it guys. That was my comparison of the OnePlus 6 versus the OnePlus 5T. And in terms of a conclusion, they're both pretty decent cameras. In my opinion, they aren't the top performers on the market, but they are certainly up in that direction. I'm sure you were as surprised as me to see how the 5T stacked up against the OnePlus 6. And a lot, and a lot, and a, and then, and a lot of the photos were actually pretty similar. If you had to push me, obviously the OnePlus 6 is a better camera. That That is a fact. When you take into account the better HDR, the slightly crisper photos, if what slightly over-processed at times, obviously the two standout features that the 6 has that the 5T doesn't is one, the ability to shoot slow-mo in 480 frames a second at 720p. And of course, in low light, the OnePlus 6 does perform better than the 5T, which was one of the main selling points on 
the new phone. You know, the camera sensor is 19% larger than the one on the 5T, so therefore that is going to help with low light performance. So like I said, if you were to push me, I would say the OnePlus 6 is better, but this is where I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you think. I want to know whether you think the OnePlus 6 is miles better, marginally better, pretty much the same. If you have the 5T watching this video, is it something that's going to make you want to go out and buy the 6? Do you think the camera upgrade is necessarily good enough to warrant that shift? What are your impressions of the 480 frames per second slow-mo? Is that a feature that interests you? And of course, for the money, the best bang for your buck on the market is the OnePlus 6 the one for you in terms of camera? Or do you think there's a phone out there of a similar price range that has a better camera? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. I will be sifting through them all and try and answer as many comments and questions as I can. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Say it's BYT. Peace out.